All right, we're in class. A lot of times I'm correcting by saying, having your neck long. So your chin is in, my neck is nice and long. Whenever I'm doing a push-up, I'm gonna remember that. So I have my hands, I have my hands shoulder width apart. One of the things I see a lot in class, and let's say we do the push-up off the knees. When I see a lot in class, I see the head coming forward, that goes up or the hip or the hips drop. So this, this is killing, this is really gonna hurt your back. Now, this is not really a push-up, this is something else. I don't know what it is, it's not really a push-up. So we wanna have those hips and line up the shoulders and knees. So hips aren't back too far, hips aren't too far forward. Try to find it. Then get a little bit of a tuck, so I get the belly pulled in. And as I lower down, my head isn't reaching down for the floor like this, and coming out instead, I get my chin in. I lower down a little bit and come up. The best thing to do is to lower as far as you can with control. When you start getting down in this area where you have no control, then you're really not helping yourself that much. So belly's full, neck is long. You lower down, press on up. Lower down, press on up. Now, the only push up you got is right up here. This is what you work. You work where your strength is, and eventually it'll get a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Another thing to pay attention to is when you have your elbows, and I direct you to have your elbows coming back towards the body, those elbows are not going to flare out, so they can carry back. And again, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. I have those elbows coming by the body as, a, as opposed to flaring out. When I go wide, then my elbows come out nice and wide. When I have the hands close together, those elbows come right by the body, right by the body. Shoulders weight from the ears, neck is nice and long, chin is in, belly's pulled flat. So I demonstrate that from the side. Again, I have those hands together. So hands come right together, down the mat. Hips align with the shoulders and knees, lower down, press up, lower down, press up. This push-up, we have the hands right from the chest. When we do that with the hands over the head, they go up and the elbows come down. So I'm working that form a little bit more, pressing the palms in the mat, really good for your wrists, shoulders, belly's pulled in, neck is nice and long. So those are those explained.